everyone, my name is Keely and I'm the owner and creator here at Soy and Shea and thank you so much for joining me for another behind the scenes look. Today I'm going to be playing with some soap dough and I'm going to be making some four leaf clovers. Let's go. Alright, so we've got our soap dough all ready to go and I'm using just the one colour of green today. I'm going to start by breaking off just a very small amount of this. I really don't need that much for this bit of the, um, of the clover. I am going to roll it up into a bit of a sausage shape and then I'm going to pop it into my extruder tool. Now, I always get lots of questions about this tool and you can get these on places like eBay, Amazon, any of your craft stores as well that sell cake decorating um, utensils and it is very, very simple to use. So I have just put my soap dough in. I'm just screwing the cap on to the top here. In the bottom here, I have my little plate, which has a round hole on it. And as I turn the handle at this end, it's going to push that soap dough out and it's going to force it through that hole, giving a nice long skinny piece of soap dough. And it just makes it a bit cleaner and easier than trying to roll the soap dough out um, into little sausage shapes. That is going to be plenty for what we are using. In fact, it is way too much. But that is okay. Let's just move that out the way for now. I'm also going to break off just a small amount from off here just to put to one side. Now the next thing we're going to do is I have got some film here and I am going to place the rest of this soap dough into this half of the film and then I'm going to cover it over with this other half. And then I have myself a little rolling pin and I am going to roll this out flat to about five mil or about quarter of an inch. I like to do it between the two pieces of film so that it doesn't stick to my workbench. And if I do try actually rolling this on the grease proof paper, it just slips and slides everywhere. This is just nice and easy and gives you lots of control over the soap dough as well. Right, so we're now nicely rolled out and what I'm going to do is I've got this little um, cookie cutter and it's in the shape of a heart and it's about the same size as my thumbnail. Um, and all I'm going to do is while this is still in between the plastic, I am just going to cut myself a couple of hearts. Now that one there I know is not going to have worked very well because my um, film here was all crinkled. When you are trying to do this through film, try not to go where it's too badly crinkled, otherwise it doesn't cut very nicely. I also try and space my shapes out because if you um, try and push another one here, all it will do is push that soap into this one that I've already cut and it will actually dis, um, disfigure the heart there. And we can always roll this back out later. I'm going to start by cutting myself eight so we've got four, seven, that's eight there. And we're not using that one, so let's cut another one. I will just very gently peel that back off of there so it reveals our hearts. Now what I'm going to do with this piece that we put to one side, I'm just going to break off just a very small amount of that soap dough. I'm just going to roll it out and push it down flat and this is going to be kind of like an anchor point to put all of our little hearts on to build our clovers up. I'm going to take this piece that we have um, squeezed out of the extruder and I'm just going to attach a bit to the back or what will be the back of that little disc and flip it over so we've got a nice even flat edge to work on. Now I'm just going to pull in some grease proof paper here to pop that on so it doesn't stick to my workbench. And then what I'm going to do is just very gently peel this excess soap dough away from the hearts that we cut. And I'm going to take all of these little hearts out of this soap dough. So now that we've got all of our hearts pushed out. I've just got my little glass of distilled water here. I am just going to paint some water onto the front of that disc and then we're going to take each of those hearts and starting at what will be the bottom of our clover leaf, I'm going to pop it in so that the, heart, the point of the heart is in the centre of that disc but next to this stem. Then I'm going to take my next one, I'm going to lay that next to it, then this 
third one will kind of go next to it and also diagonal from the first one and then we can put our last little heart in there like so and then you can just have a little bit of a play with it to get it all in the right position I don't push down too hard because I don't want to distort it but I do want it to stick down just enough if you don't think it is sticking quite well I just get my little fondant tool here and just push it down onto that disc in the middle. I'm just going to flatten out the end of my little stem here and then I'm going to take a bamboo skewer and I'm just going to make a little dent in my soap dough that comes from the center of the clove and or clover leaf and then about halfway up it. So I'm not coming all the way up to the tip of the heart just about halfway up each of those leaves. Let's do this side here as well. Whoop. And there we have it. Let me pick him up. That is just a very quick, simple way in which we can make a little clover leaf using um, our soap dough. So that is one of them there. Just gonna grab another tiny piece from off this piece here. It really doesn't have to be much and it doesn't have to be neat for this piece. This is just simply a way of anchoring it. I'd been trying all sorts of different ways to um, get these sort of heart shapes to link together and every time I tried doing it I was just distorting it and squishing it. So I ended up making just that little button piece to stick it onto and it worked really well. It also gave me a way of getting that leaf on and then they all actually just stuck together really well. So I'm again just dipping in my water just to help act like a little bit of glue. I'm going to grab one of those hearts and starting at the bottom and working our way around. So let's pop that on there. Once you get going with them, they become nice and quick, simple and easy. And the first couple I did, they looked a little bit funny because I was a little bit too heavy handed with them. But now that I've done a few of them, they do come together really, really well. So those are those ones on. We have lost our stem. We'll just move it across a bit. Whoop. That's it. Let's put our little veins into each of our little leaves here. Oops, and there is another one. They're all gonna be very different and you'll see that on the soap. Some have got long stems, some have got little stems. I'm gonna come back to this piece and I'm just gonna put my plastic back. Well, it's not plastic, it's a biodegradable film. I'm gonna put that back over the top there. I'm going to pop out some more hearts and build up some more of these little clovers. I need seven of them. one I know I said I only needed seven and I've got eight that's because over on my tray of ones that I've been doing and practicing earlier I decided I actually didn't like the look of one of them so I have done an extra one now when you are making the little back button to attach these onto don't make the, it too big um, otherwise it will actually poke from underneath the little heart shape so you want to just make it big enough that it can attach to it but so that it doesn't show from underneath your little clover. So let's just get the little veins onto this one here. 
that is looking so super cute. So that is my little four leaf clover using some soap dough. I hope you have enjoyed watching how I made these. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. If you've got any questions, I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And until Saturday's video comes out when I'll be using these little four leaf clovers, I hope you have a great one and I will see you then. Bye.